Well, on the last day of Jazz Fest this year, performers will honor Jimmy Buffett, a true uh, frequent performer here at Jazz Fest. Yeah, absolutely. Organizers are making sure his memory plays on through a trip around the sun. We couldn't laugh, we would all go insane. He, he's not just somebody that played at the festival, he's a part of the festival. For Jimmy Buffett, it was paradise on the Jazz Fest stage. His shows are some of the best shows ever. In fact, his last show was absolutely one of the best shows ever. Early on in his career, the laid-back legend found his footing in New Orleans, but soon stumbled upon this event, developing a friendship with producer Quint Davis. When the festival happens, it was like, wow, you know, this is my whole life story, sort of. So he started, he identified with it, and he wanted to play. As the festival grew, so did Buffett, who soon began eyeing the local talent pool, like the iguanas. First thing he was like, man, I'll dig your band. We're going on tour, we're starting a tour in January in Florida. Can you open it? For, will you open the shows for us? And we were like, hell yeah. So that was exciting. They'd later get signed to his label and start performing at Jazz Fest as well. Knowing Buffett as a superstar who always appreciated that trip around the sun. He worked to get there, and but he was like, like I said, he was a normal cat. He wasn't, he wasn't, you know, he didn't, didn't, didn't let that success kind of go to his head. Even before Buffett's death, he'd still come to see the iguanas play. So I was playing, playing, and I finished, and I, you know, I was opening my eyes, and I, I hear, I hear, hey Joe. And I, you know, I, I looked down and it was Jimmy. I was like, D dude, what are you doing here? You know, you, he's, he was like digging it, man. I was like, all right. So this year, when it's five o'clock somewhere, that final Sunday of Jazz Fest, the Caribbean sounds will start to play once again as artists and his band, the Coral Reefers, come together. That's his spot, that's his spot. And so that's where they're gonna come play and then we'll have some people sit in with them paying tribute to the man behind Margaritaville who loved New Orleans, its music, and its people. Randy Russo, WDSU News.